Stanley comes out of the broom closet. Real. 2022. Not clickbait. Stanley was a man with simple tastes. He liked simple things like buckets and broom closets. You could tell because Stanley had been in the broom closet for over an hour now. Stanley. I know you like the broom closet. This is getting obsessive. Stanley did not care for the narrator's concerns about his broom closeting. He could stop whenever he wanted to. He just didn't want. Stanley, the first step is admitting you have a problem. What problem? Stanley didn't have a problem. He was actively choosing to be in the broom closet. The broom closet was the best room of the parable. Why wouldn't he want to be in it? Stanley, the problem is they won't come out of the closet. The narrator was very concerned about Stanley's broom closet addiction. He spent a long time on his story just to be ignored in favor of a little closet. <laughs> Mary, I'm gay, Stanley stated. He was gay and liked men, an absolute raging homosexual, a man like her. The only reason he had to kiss a man because there were no men to kiss. <laughs> Stanley, Stanley, that's not what I meant. Narrator was surprised if I thought Stanley liked men. Stanley, since when did you like men? Since the bucket. A bucket? Stanley, is that why you like the bucket so much? Yes, Stanley then proceeded to passionately kiss the bucket. The bucket was his one true love. Stanley, stop kissing the bucket, that's unsanitary. The bucket was unsanitary. Stanley stopped kissing the bucket and threw it in the corner. He did not love the bucket. The bucket was dirty and unkissable. He could never truly love something that unsanitary. Stanley exited the broom closet and went to see his mannequin wife. His mannequin wife was replaced with a mannequin husband that still did not love him. Stanley then proceeded with the ending and died. The end.